In front of you is Trend Following Trades U.S. Government Required Disclaimer. You'll need to pause this if you want to read the entire document. Uh, please pay special attention to CFTC Rule 4.41. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Trend Following Trades. It's Tuesday, April 11th. Again, today we're going to try to achieve our target of $1,000 or a stop of $1,000, whichever is hit first. This is a summary from our members area trade plan guide. It's posted. And we will be trading three lots in $10 a tick markets and six lots in $5 a tick markets. We can't be in more than three markets at a time. And we will not be in any more than one index or one bond because they're highly correlated. It's basically like doubling up size. So with that in mind, we zeroed out our instruments and the opens a couple seconds away. And then we'll begin trading them. The opens are hardest to get in sync with. I always like to try to get into an index first. And Q's my favorite. So you can see everything's, uh, we have a signal to go long. Already plot it. So we can put an order in and drag order it down. Order pending. Or we put an order in at method and at support, whichever gets filled first. Uh, one will get filled and then use the ATM. That's in the row order and then cancel filled. out the other one. Order canceled. So we're, we're long at support. Let me just move stop up a little bit. Stop filled. I'm sure now we got stopped out of that real quick. So it seems like so far every trade's been a loss on the NQ, my first trade. And that is that is the hardest part for me at least is getting in sync with the market. EMD trade button setup. All order right. pending. Good old EMD. Now here we put a bracket order in, uh, one at resistance and one at method. Now what's here is it's going to pull up automatically. It did that all by itself. Order filled. As the order, order goes canceled. back, it automatically pulls a method order up to get a better entry. So it got in short. Two brick stop, four brick target. Now here's the 6 Order B. pending. I don't have the um, background market structure turned on Order so filled. I really should because I don't believe we have a lower low or lower six high C trade really button setup. Short. and then the 6c here we broke through the range come back and test it pending. see if we can get short at resistance so we're short the EMD we're short the 6b and if we get short the 6c we can't be in any more markets as long as we don't hit target or get stopped out. So the white box means it hasn't been Order filled yet. Filled. So there's our EMD. All right, we're going to move the, the 6C just above resistance one tick. We'll move our target down a tick also. Just try to keep our two to one. EMD is coming down. Change the ATM for two bricks. Move the break even automatically. Just popped it down a tick. And I'm going to move the 6C to break even. It came within a couple of ticks of the double bottom. A lot of times it bounces off. So now the EMD is moving along good. If we get a reverse Renko, lock in some profit. Our first target is before the target double bottom. Filled. It's a good place to be, so that got hit. Let's move the trailer down another brick. So if we get a reverse Ranko, uh, we'll keep as much profit in as possible and try to let it run. Got to watch out now to see if we hit the $1,000 mark. We can close out. Okay, the 6C. Lock in some profit there. Watch my mouse. Again, in Target my head, I try filled. to do the math, see if I can close out. Getting close. Target filled. There we go. So that's it. And that's all done in about 12 minutes, less than 12 minutes. So now, I'd like to go over these trades. And we'll start with the NQ, turn the trade markers on. And again, with six lot to get all of these are one lot fills. You can see we got long. Now, this is my mistake. This should be a winner. I moved the stop too close. It did not hit the two brick stop. 
It was a 16 tick stop and only went like 14. So my mistake, I'm human. I'm actually doing work on two computers. EMD, nice short. This has been good to us, or to me at least. You can see the first target and the second target with the global close. And then we have the 6C, got in at resistance, pulled back a little bit, and then took off nicely. And right when we hit our target at the global close, it'll happen almost simultaneously. So that's why you only see one marker, but you can see the, the description of the six contract fill. So that was nice. And then we have the 6B. Now this is the questionable trade I was talking about at the time. It looked like a nice setup, trigger line, uh, volume, shaded, everything. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the swing point, you know, higher high, lower low, market structure, the background coloring. Always like to trade with market structure. If I turn the coloring on, I don't have to calculate it. And we'll see if it's red or green. And lo and behold, it's green. So we should have never taken this trade. So two mistakes today, but we still hit our target. You know, so one thing nice about a higher reward to risk, risk to reward, or reward to risk trading is you don't have to be right. As a matter of fact, we'll, we'll take a look at the trades today. We had four of them. Here are the trade stats. You know, from Ninja Trader. So you can see the four trades. This is with commissions now, 981. So we missed it by $19. So I need to get a little more profit when I hit close. Unfortunately, AMA2 does not have include commissions. And here you go, 50% win rate, 3 to 1, reward to risk, $981. Who says you need to scalp to make a great living in 12 minutes? I mean, talk about stress-free trading. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and good luck trading.